The Revelation of Jesus Christ from the Old Testament to the New Testament. He is the beginning. Maureen uniquely favored a Christian-based channel, mainly bringing you testimonies, sermons, and other Christian trending news. Beginning and the end. The architect of the universe, the manager of all times, the keeper of creation, the creator of all. He was pierced and brought relief, bruised and brought healing, a victim of persecution and brought freedom, dead and brought life, risen and brought power, reigning and bringing peace, and the world cannot comprehend him. The military cannot overcome him. Both the leaders and the schools are unable to ignore him or explain him. Herald failed to murder him. The Pharisees were unable to perplex him. The population was unable to hold him. His ways are right. His word is eternal. His will is unchanging and his mind is on me. He is my redeemer, my savior, my guide, my peace, my joy, my comfort, my Lord, and he rules my life. The new age cannot replace him. He is light, love, and Lord. He is goodness, kindness, gentleness, and God. In the Old Testament, Jesus Christ is described as the breath of life in Genesis, the Passover lamp in Exodus, our high priest in Numbers, and the pillar of clouds in Leviticus. In Deuteronomy, by day and night, he is a prophet like Moses. In Joshua, in Judges, he is our judge and lawgiver. In Ruth, he is our kinsman and redeemer. In Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In Ezra and Nehemiah, he is our Mordecai. In Job, he is our ever-living redeemer. In Psalms, he is our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our wisdom. In Solomon's songs, that is Songs of Solomon, he is our song. In Isaiah, he is the loving bridegroom. And in Zechariah, he is the prince of peace. In Jeremiah, he represents the upright branch. In Lamentation, he is our crying prophet. In Ezekiel, he is the magnificent first man. And in Daniel, he represents the fourth man in the blazing furnace. In Hosea, he plays the role of a devoted husband who is married to a disloyal person for eternity. In Jonah, he is our esteemed overseas missionary. In Amos, he is our burden bearer. In Obadiah, he is the powerful one who can save. In, Ma in Micaiah, he represents lovely feet. In Nahum, he represents the sturdy old man during a difficult time. In Habakkuk, he represents God's evangelist, calling for the restoration of God's lost legacy throughout the years. In Haggai, he represents our rescuer. In Zechariah, he represents the fountain that purges sin and faileth in David's home. And lastly, in, Mala in Malachi, he represents the son of righteousness ascending with healing in his wings. As the king of the Jews in Matthew, Jesus Christ is a servant in Mark and the, and the servant in Luke. In Acts, he is the son of God. In Romans, he is the world's savior. He is the son of man, experiencing what you experience in John. In the first Chron Corinthians, sorry, he is the righteousness of God. In second Corinthians, he is the rock that followed Israel. And in the book of Galatians, he is the conqueror who grants victory. In Ephesians, he is your liberty. He makes you free. In Philippians, he is the head of the church. In Colossians, 
he is your delight. And in First and Second Thessalonians, he is your wholeness, he is your stability, your hope in Second Timothy, and your faith in First Timothy. He is your life in Second John, your purity in Second Peter, your pattern in Third John, your inspiration in Jude, the cornerstone of your faith, and ultimately your imminent ruler in Revelation. I hereby once again welcome you to my other segment of my channel entitled Christian Trendy Motivational Messages, whereby I'll be sharing videos for encouragement and motivational purposes. Thank you and be blessed as you watch. Kindly like, subscribe, comment down below and click on the notification bell. Thank you so much and see you on my next video.